Hey art folks, it's Shade, and today I have for you another metallic watercolor spotlight. This is the part two that I promised you, and in this one I will be looking at all of the paint color by color. That way you can get a really good understanding of the differences between the brands and see which one is best for you. If you haven't seen part one, definitely check it out. That will be linked in the description below, and I'll also have links to all of the different brands in the description and on my website. Let's get started. Okay, so here are our gold colors. Of course, when you're thinking of metallic watercolors, this is the first color range that you'll think of and probably the most common. A lot of the colors are very similar, so maybe I'll arrange them from warmer golds to cooler golds. These golds are very yellow. I think this Arabic gold from Fine Tech is the yellowest of the bunch. And these are the orangiest. This one from A Gallo and this one from Fine Tech. This one from Fine Tech. The Inca gold is definitely the most orange out of all of them. This one from Beam, when I'm looking at it with the other golds, is really almost a Prosecco color. You can really see that when you compare it, it's a lot less yellow. Kind of something like Fine Tech's Gold Pearl, but I think their Gold Pearl is still a little more yellow than the one from Beam. And so is this one from The Creative Kinds. If we want to just talk about pure metallic looking. These two from the Creative Kinds are really metallic. You can really see that here on the mass tone. It really just looks like you put gold on the paper. And they're both pretty covering. Really beautiful versions, both versions that rewet really nicely. And I think every single one of these is a great option. We have Fine Tech, we have Beam Paints, we have Artistic Isles, The Creative Kinds, and Schmuka and Egawa. These are all really nice versions of golds. I guess I haven't found one that I don't like. I'll go through and show you each one of these individually. So this is Inca Gold from Fine Tech, Gold from Schmuka, Antique Gold from Egalo. Irish Gold from Artistic Isle, Gold Star from The Creative Kinds, which I really like this one. Actually, it's a little bronzier and then some other golds. Tibetan Gold by Fine Tech, Arabic Gold by Fine Tech, Gold Pearl by Fine Tech, which is a bit more transparent than their other golds. Well, okay, so the Fine Tech colors in general are just not as opaque as something like the creative kinds, as you can see. You can see a lot more of that black, even when it's had 10 minutes. But of them, I feel like this one is a bit more transparent. The creative kinds, gold, and the gold from Beam Paints. So let's talk about bronze. These are interesting. There's a bit more variation here than with the gold and more creativity in the naming. I'm including copper here as well, which is a little bit redder. So even though Kuretake calls this gold, I'm considering this a bronze color because it doesn't look very much like any gold that I've ever seen. And you can really see that even though it's very opaque, it just doesn't have the shine that these other metallic paints have. It's much more matte. So if you're really going for that super blingy color, the Kuretake version is not where I would go. So some of these look really similar. So for example, this Antique Brass and this Asteroid from Artistic Isle and the Creative Kinds are basically identical. If we're going to go for a covering, I'm going to go with the Creative Kinds. Both really beautiful versions though. Both really shiny. 
these two are all pretty similar, particularly the designs by Karen and Creative Kind bronzes. They're kind of pinky, coppery colors. All of them cover really well. I feel like these two are a bit pinkier. The designs by Karen one, well, her paints are just always kind of crazy. So it's really, really covering, but they're all really outstanding. I mean, any paints from these three makers are outstanding. This version from Studio Julia, the Glimora, is a bit more orangey than the other ones. It's also quite beautiful. And this French roast, which can go together with the Kona Jazz, two coffee-inspired colors. Uh, this one is more silvery. You can really see that, especially on the black side of the paper. It's a little silvery and cooler than the others. So then looking at these two coppery colors, uh, this copper flask is just gorgeous. I can never get over it. It's such a beautiful color. And this copper, it's obviously they can't quite compare in terms of power. And it's also, this one is much redder and this one is more orangey. But if you want that kind of effect, instead of this one, you can get this sort of gentle glitter instead of this really strong glitter, although you can always get that just by watering it down. So these two, I guess you can say are champagne colors. This is Fine Text Moon Gold and Prosecco from the Creative Kinds. They're really, really similar. Not exactly the same. This one is a tiny bit yellower, but they're really beautiful examples of this kind of yellowy, silvery champagne color. And again, the Creative Kinds is a bit more opaque and covering than the Fine Tech and a lot easier to re-wet. So, silver. I really would have expected that there would be more of these silvery sort of colors. I only have four. You can technically maybe say three because this color isn't very metallic. So, as you've seen before, this one is not very sparkly. But if you look at these three, again, the Artistic Isle and the Creative Kinds versions are really beautiful. Uh, surprisingly, the Creative Kinds version is much more opaque than the version from the Artistic Isle. And the Beam version has a different texture. It's got this flocculation in it, which is interesting. I feel like this would be really good for a moon or something like that with texture on it. But if you don't like that texture, then I wouldn't go for it. But I think that it's quite interesting. And I think this is the most neutral of all the ones that I have. This one is second most neutral from Artistic Isle. And then the one from the Creative Kinds is a little bluer. You can see that shine on all of them. I really love this category, but I only have two examples. It's like a black with a gold glitter on top. I think they're both really beautiful. One from Beam, this is with Mayan Indigo. And this one is from Moss and Colors with a black background. This one is a little more poetic because it's got that deep indigo and I feel like I wanna use it everywhere. But this one is also really beautiful too. So these are two pretty unique colors that you don't see a lot. I think the one from Lost in Colors is a bit more glittery, if you can see that. Whereas the one from Beam has a bit more texture. Here comes another curious category. I wasn't really sure what to do, but these are kind of white colors. They're all pretty unique. So I can't really compare them. But of course we have this antique silver mica from Earth Mineral Arts. It's just crazy. Really chunky glitter. There's chunky and there's mid-size, there's large ties, there's small size. Really beautiful. This is actually, I guess you could say this is a standard silver, but it didn't look very much like the other silvers that I use. And it actually doesn't look very much like silver. This appears to me a lot more white, like pearl or mother of pearl. The shine is the same on both sides. Then we have Unicorn Dust, which is pink on one side and green on the other side, like a fish scale. Look at that. 
pretty crazy. This is from Hydra Color. And then you have a similar sort of thing from Aloha. It's not quite as glittery, more metallic-y and like a gentler mermaid color. Changing from... it's goldish on both sides, but it's got a little bit of a different flash on this side. So to compare these two. The one is kind of like, I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> And this one is more like gentle. I think they're both really cool. I would love to paint a mermaid or some fishes with these. So talking about the colors, I think this is one of the least popular color categories, yellow. And that's unfortunate because you know I'm a yellow lover. So these two from Xanadu are not really glittery. Particularly this one, you can almost not see anything. This one is a little sparkly. A little bit. You can see it more in the mass tone. But also, this one is quite gloopy. If we want to talk about more shiny colors, then you have this one from Chorire, and this one from Hydra Color. So you have a cooler yellow, and a warmer or middle yellow. The Hydra Color one is amazing. I love this color. It's great if you actually want to mix metallic colors, because like I said, there's not a lot of yellow, so you have this really yellow yellow. And this one is just interesting because it's so unique. It reminds me kind of like Tweety. I don't know if Tweety is such a cool yellow, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. It's more like a lemon, almost nickel titanate yellow sort of color. This one is definitely more straight up metallic. And this one is a little bit more glitzy, kind of like a gossamer feeling. Another fairly unpopular category is orange. We once again have two from Xanadu, which are not really glittery. One is more glittery than the other. And then this is a version from Designs by Karen and Hydra Colors. Basically, we have a cool and a warm version again. And they're both just spectacular. Really beautiful colors. I'm really happy that they've chosen to include an orange in their line. And that I have an example of their orange. None of more of these brands may have other colors that I just don't have. But I think that these are both really beautiful examples. And really shiny. Pinks and reds. We have a huge range of these colors. This might be the biggest category that I have. There are several of these colors that look very similar, some unique versions, very cute range. So these are the pinky pinks, the really light pinks, these two are more peachy colors. We contain the names Sweet Peach and Guava Shimmer from the Creative Kinds and Fold the Sea. Both really shiny. And then this one is more your classic pink. This is from the Cliffs of Waterford. So they're all like very delicate colors. The Guava Shimmer, for some reason, I really enjoy looking at this one. And it re-wet really nicely. Then there are a bunch of these sunset colors. Two people calling it Sunset, the Creative Kinds, and Aloha. Some people calling it Gold Red, Rose Gold, Rose Doré, so they're not exactly the same. These two, I think, are maybe the most similar, but it's a sort of red with a color shift to gold. Yeah, you can really see even on the flash how these two are really similar. This one is also called Sunset, but I don't feel like it has quite as much of a gold shift as the other ones. And so these are beautiful colors. The Aloha version is much more gold on black paper than the version from the Creative Kinds. The gold red from K Designs by Karen 
is much more red than this kind of peachy color, sunset color. This rose gold from Beam is really a gold with pink pigment underneath it. So you don't see as much of the shift, you just see the gold and the pink is underneath. And then this one is just like another, it's a pearlescent color, so it's just kind of crazy the way the color shifts. So this shifts in a totally unique way, a really interesting range. Then we have these just ready colors. This one is more of just a straight color. This one is a little bit changing, but basically two pinky colors. This one is a bit more pink orange color. This one is a little more subdued. These two colors are really similar, a dusty pinky color, both from the creative kinds. This one is a little bit more purple. And if you want to get even more purple and deeper, you can go with Cabernet from Hydra Colors. If you wanted to go even more purple, I would say Ellen from Studio Julia, but that's going to be in a different category because it's just so purple. These are all really beautiful. And I think these colors are kind of unusual, so I'm always really excited to see them in a collection or a range of colors. And they just add a little something different. Maybe this should have been with the other rose golds, but this had more of a coppery feeling than a pinky feeling to me. And then there's this Holster Perm Red, which is just a red from Xanadu Art Studio with a little bit of glimmer. We have a lot of purples, really popular category, including a magenta in here because I thought it just made sense with the range of colors because all the other reds were really gentle and then there are these two really bright magentas. So starting with bluish purple, we got Grape Ape from Xanadu, not very sparkly. And you have this ultraviolet, which spans between blue and violet. It's more blue on the black side and more violet on the white side. A cool color changing color from the creative kinds. While the red side had a lot of pinky dusky colors, the purple side doesn't have as much. And then this is one of them, Rhiannon from Hydra. It's a really pretty color. Uh, this is also a dusky color, but this one is not quite so sparkly. These two purples are very similar. This one is a bit warmer than this one. So this is Grape Escape, which is a funny name, from the Creative Kinds. And this is Purple Rose from Karen. You can especially see it on the camera how much warmer this one is than this one. This is one of my favorite colors, even though it's not super sparkly. I just love, it reminds me a lot of Pyroline Maroon, the way this color moves across a page. Personally, I would use this more on white paper than on black paper because this is aspect of it that I really love. It's a really subdued glitter, kind of like vampire-like. So awesome. Then you have burlesque, which is more, again, one of your warmer purples. And then these two colors are also very similar. Fantasy and Gypsy, I wish the name was not Gypsy, from Hydra Colors. It's this really pinky magenta color. Both are, I think, equally awesome. These brands are always making really great colors. Blue is another huge range. We have a really wide span of colors, all the way from warm blues to cool blues. And we have pale blues and saturated blues. Okay, so the warmest blue that we have here, I guess you could have included it in the purples, is Mayhem. Somehow it just felt a little more blue to me. This is from Hydra Color. Yeah, because when you're looking at it in certain lights, it looks more like an ultramarine blue, and sometimes very purple. Then this also, you could say it's a purple almost, much more desaturated, but you could also say that it's a really warm blue. Linné from Studio Julia. I love all of her colors. So then you get this range of four ultramarine Prussian sort of colors that are not really metallic, but sort of glimmery and glittery. 
these are just barely glittery. These are more determinedly glittery and you actually have two different versions, the silver and the gold. So I think that's pretty cool. If you're going to go for these, I'd go for these from both of these from the Cliffs of Waterford. Now these two colors are extremely similar. Aquarius and Blue Hawaii. So Aquarius from Artistic Isle and Blue Hawaii from Aloha. Just the teensiest bit warmer, I think. Or maybe the same. Really beautiful colors. I love the consistency of the Aloha. You can see how nice and even that is. This one has a little bit more texture. But they both cover really well. Both really beautiful. They're really shiny. Then we have a bunch of these really dusty blues that are almost silver. You can see on the camera this one stands out especially because on one side it basically looks gray and then on the other side it looks more blue silver, kind of icy. And then when you see the reflection it's this blue purple. It's a really interesting unique color. Hydrocolor has just some crazy colors and some even more crazy colors than the ones that I can show you. So that one is a little different than these others. And then you have these three, which are really similar. So Rain Cloud from Aloha, Snowflake from The Creative Kinds, and Dusty Blue from The Creative Kinds. And they're all really, really similar. This one is a little greenish more than the others. This one is a little grayer. I think maybe these two are really similar. Almost the same. But you can see in the wash, this is a little bluer. Maybe it should go like this. So for a kind of snow sort of color. And then there's Cielo, which is similar to these in that it's like a dusty blue color, but it's much more saturated than these three. And then you have these teal blue-green colors, which I think are so pretty. So this, I think, is the least blue-green out of these blue-greens. These are really blue-greens. This is the greenest one, I think. You can see in reflection, this one is also very blue-green. So I think maybe we could arrange them like this. With these two, Deep Blue Sea and Peacock from the Creative Kinds being a pair, although Deep Blue Sea is a little warmer, but you can see that they're really, really similar. And Lake Blue and Tiffany from Hydra and Designs by Karen being a pair and being just a really interesting undersea water aerial little mermaid sort of color. So cool. So a million blues. And now for the greens. The greens is another category where there are some really similar colors and a pretty wide range from warm to cool. So this is the most unique out of all the green colors. It's got this kind of gunmetal on top, but green underneath. That's why I decided to put it in with the green colors. But it's not quite like anything else I've ever seen. Really cool, unique colors from Studio Juliac. This is, yeah, an evergreen color. It just really feels like a Christmas tree, so they really nailed it with this color. And surprisingly, it's pretty unique, I think, because it's a bit of a darker color. And that doesn't seem to be really common in metallics. I really love it. It's beautiful. So we have two colors called aquamarine and one called Hedvig. Really similar pastel teal colors. These two, yeah, are almost the same. You can really see that. This one is slightly different. It's a bit gummier for some reason. Not really sure why. It's spread a lot more than the others. Really shiny, but not from pigment. Curious. But these two are very similar in the way that they perform from Artistic Isle and the Creative Kinds. Really cool colors. This color is similar in that it's a pastel, but it feels yeah, just like what it's called, rosemary. It feels very herbal and different. The Creative Kinds has some, I guess, some unique greens that I haven't seen in other brands. I really like this one. And this emerald is also pretty different. It's also kind of herbal color. A bit more saturated than the rosemary from the Creative Kinds. 
Now we're getting a bit more yellow. This kakapo, this is the perfect shade for this bird. It's so cool. It doesn't have super knockout sparkle, but it does. You can see it on the black side of the paper, but on the white side of the paper, it doesn't really show up that much. I feel like kryptonite is kind of like just the glittery part of kakapo, a really acid green color. So now we're getting to this interesting category where we have these green colors with gold on top, which I didn't expect to be such a theme amongst metallic watercolors. So you can see they're green underneath and then this kind of green gold. Of these, the least shiny one is this Ludwig from Eventually Everything Mixes. It definitely does have a shine, but it's not, you know, like this hydrocolors or anything like that. It's just more of an accent and it's not exactly even. Then when you look at these, they are much more shiny and it's really take your pick. All of the colors are a bit odd. They don't have a really even green color, but they're pretty even in the gold. The Karen one is killer in how crazy the gold is. The Hydra, I think, when the mass tone has like the most green on it. And then these two colors are also similar, but they're a little bit more golden than these. From Blue Pine Arts and Studio Jiliac. This one is a little bit greener, this one is a little warmer. But you can actually see the green coming out here a bit more than with this one. But really interesting, beautiful colors. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these two videos. They were so much fun to make and I got to try out some amazing paints. Thank you also to my patrons and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, be gentle with yourself. Bye.